Hi guys, it's me, Mrs. McClure, and today we are going to learn about verbs. So last week we talked about adjectives, which are words that describe a noun, right? Saying, for example, um, a word that describes a bat would be fast, right? Or we talked about words that describe spiders, a hairy spider, a black spider spider, a brown spider, a scary spider. Well, today we are going to be talking about verbs, which are verbs. A verb is an action word or something that you can do. Okay, what is a verb? A verb is an action word. Okay, so for example, I have a sentence. It says the bat can fly. What is the action in my sentence? The bat can fly. That's right. The word fly is the action. It is the verb in my sentence. Okay? So let's look at some more examples of verbs. Remember, a verb is something that you can do. For example, you can jump. That is an action word, right? To jump, like jump rope. Washing our hands. The girl washed her hands. The action would be wash. The verb would be wash. To swim. I can swim. To sing. That is an action word. To swing, drive, and cut. There are lots of other verbs. Can you think of some other words or action words that we could add to this? Good job. Let's look at some more examples. So here's another sentence. The bat can scoop up insects. Which word do you think is the action in my sentence or the verb? The bat can scoop up insects. That's right. The word scoop. Scoop is an action. The bat scooped it up. And here's an example of a bat. Let's bring some words, brainstorm some more words that are action words. We're going to put some words on the bat um, that are action words. I already have two. I have fly and dance. What are some other um, action words that we can add here? To run, that's a verb. To play, jump, and talk, sing, can you think of any more? Very good. Okay, what we're going to do now is we are, I'm going to read you a little informational text about bats. And then I'm going to tell you what you're going to do for your assignment. All right. So we're going to read a little um, informational text about bats. And then we're going to brainstorm um, some verbs about bats, what bats can do. Okay. So let's take a look at it. It says even... Up here at the top, it says, even though bats can see just fine in the daylight, they use echoes to help them locate food and other things in the dark. Bats make high-pitched sounds like screeches. Echoes are made when sounds hit objects. This is called prolactin. Good. Have you ever seen a bat? Bats are hard to spot. They are nocturnal. Bats may only come out at night. 
They are very fast and quick. Bats are important to the world. Bat living. Bats are found everywhere. They roost in caves and trees. That might be a good verb to add. The mammals also settle in buildings. Bats never touch the ground. They sleep upside down. That's a verb to sleep. Bats bodies. There are many kinds of bats. Some are small like a thumb. Fruit bats are big. They can grow a few feet long. Bat colonies. Bats live together in a colony. There are groups with one million bats. Other colonies have just a few. Some move their homes every season. Some groups can live in the same caves for many years. Bats help. Bats help the environment. They eat pesky insects all night. Some people build bat houses. The bats can stay to consume bugs. Ooh, consume is a good verb. Consume is another word for um, to eat. Flying foxes. Which I don't like how this thing. Flying foxes help make new plants by spreading pollen and seeds. So let's look down here. It says off the bat to do something immediately. Bat pros. Bats eat insects. Eat is a good verb. Insects can destroy crops, seeds, and pollen and get scattered when they get stuck. To the hairs on a bat. This helps new plants grow. Bat cons. People fear bats because of stories, TV, and movies. Do you know any sayings with the word bat? Cool. All right. Did you hear any verbs in here that we could add to our verb chart? I heard some great words that we could add. So when we, I was reading, I did hear some say that bats can, actually I'm going to use the thing, that bats um, can sleep, and they sleep upside down. So I'm going to add that. That's a verb that bats can do. What else can bats do? Bats can fly. They eat, right? Eat insects. And some even eat fruit. Bats sleep. Bats fly. Bats eat. What else did it say about bats that they can do? What action can they do? What action can they do? Let's look. There's that word. Let's see. They roost in caves and trees. That's a good word. A roost. The, to roost is an action, which means it's where they, they live. So let's add roost. It's like they nest. So your assignment today is to think of some action words or some verbs about that bats can do and you're going to write them on your bats okay and let's come back here and let's remember what is a verb a verb is an action word or something that you can do right so I want you to think about verbs today and think about the things that you can do. That is an action. Great job today.